With the brand new Criminal Enterprise DLC, we receive some upgrades and improvements upon existing businesses in the game, from the Executive Office, Biker Clubhouse, Gun Running Bunker and the Nightclub. In this video, I'm going to go in depth on the changes made to the Biker Clubhouse and how you can make some passive income using the brand new passive business add-ons and more. Let's get started. If you already own an MC Clubhouse, they are fairly useless in terms of money making aspects. The only way people use the Clubhouse is to buy their MC businesses. Well, not anymore. All clubhouses which have the custom auto shop upgrade to it can get access to a brand new money making method for the clubhouse. If you head on over to the Maze Bank website and upgrade your clubhouse with the custom bike shop for a hefty price of $530,000, you can get a new business added to the clubhouse. This new business is exactly like the auto shop's customer deliveries. Just like the auto shop, customers will deliver their vehicles to the mechanic at the clubhouse for you as a player to modify them to the customer specific needs and then sell them for a profit. This time around with the clubhouse you get special bike deliveries instead of regular vehicle deliveries. Once you first enter the clubhouse you will see a newly delivered bike sitting in the shop waiting for its customizations. Once Malk has finished his phone call with you, if you walk up to the customer's bike you have the option to buy it and modify it just like the art shop. Once you click on the option to modify it, your player will drive the bike into the mod shop where you need to modify the vehicle to the customer's needs shown at the bottom of the screen. Service the bike, customize it and it's ready to sell. This time there is no option for staff unlike the auto shop which works in our favour because it will be quicker and more profitable to do it ourselves. It will cost $10,000 for these modifications and I'm not too sure if these prices will increase the more vehicles you do or the higher value the vehicle is because 10 k is fairly cheap. Once you have delivered the vehicle to the drop you will receive a payment of $150,000 with the service costs being $30,000 giving you a profit of $120,000 for a quick bike drop. This may change over time for every different bike but for me with the zombie bower I received 120k profit also the service cost may increase but either way this is a great little side business to the clubhouse. On the topic of side businesses the clubhouse now has a new passive stream for money. A new bar business can be accessed from the top floor of your clubhouse house and this requires daily maintenance by completing the new bar resupply missions that can be launched if you go up to the bar icon in your clubhouse. These missions fill up the stock for the bar bringing in new customers however if you begin to slow down doing these missions then less customers will appear and less passive income for the business. The income will appear in your personal quarters daily similar to the daily safe taking for the agency, arcade and nightclub. For me this business is completely bugged and doesn't allow me to start any resupply missions not entirely sure why but that means i can't work out the money for this bar business and how much resupply missions are required i'm pretty sure it's one every day for the maximum money but like i said i'm unable to check if that's true or not and the final change made to the clubhouse business is two new clubhouse contracts called hit the roof and life and death bikes i've completed the new life and death bikes contract and from my experience these are actually well made with some decent thought put into them them. The mission requires you to head to a mechanic's house and either go stealth and eliminate all the personal guards or go guns blazing. Personally stealth is a lot easier then you need to kill the guards inside the house and find the correct switch to reveal the secret sliding door to an elevator. This part is what's really cool in my opinion. If one of the switches is the wrong one it would electrically shock you. That's really cool. Now if you get the right switch it opens the secret door and you can head down into the garage. Take out the mechanic and the guards and steal the death bike. At the end, once you've eliminated the gang with the death bike, you can choose to keep the bike or sell it. If you sell it, you deliver it back to the clubhouse for 73000 on top of the mission payout. But if you keep it, you get the mission payout and the bike for only a while until you get off it and use a new vehicle. That was just one of the new clubhouse contracts and they are great. Those are all the new upgrades and improvements to the MC clubhouse. I will make a guide for every other business being the nightclub, special cargo and the bunker. So don't forget to subscribe and drop a like to not miss out on that and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you all later